man. Apparently, there's some kind of little thing happening on our channel. Some little young buck running around. Yeah. I saw him in our studio. Uh, man, this was weeks ago. I don't know when this one's coming out, but I didn't like his attitude. I think he said something about him being our worst best fan. <laughs> that shows how much of a fan I am. <laughs> he said uh, his last thing, one of his last episodes, he said he, he said that you ran off to Boston so you didn't have to play him in yeah. pickleball. He, he might and, need to check his tone. And these S2L parts, ask the S2L staff, former S2L SRs, who the pickleball champ is. Yeah. The truth will come to life. I mean, you give him an opportunity, uh, and he just wants to run all over us. Yeah. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Do you believe in life after addiction? You better believe it. Believe it. Now, the host of Life After Addiction. We're back. Hello. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Friends. Today's episode, <laughs> we're going to do it again. We've done before, but how well do the hosts know each other? Uh, I think it's going to be a true test of friendship. <laughs> Some would say it is. Some would say it is. Today we're going to talk about how well we know each other. We're going to do it different. Uh, we're going to do it. Last time I think we just allowed Chitty to lie the whole time about his answers. Uh, <laughs> this time we're going to have a question. We're going to write it down on our phone and show the camera and then after the answer and then show what we wrote. Just kind of a fun episode, man. There's a lot of tension in the air. There's some heaviness with both of us. We just want to have a good time. I hope you enjoy this. Laugh with us. Let's hold him accountable because he's, he's still going to lie even though he's having to write stuff down. And we know this. He's laughing because we know this. We can go back. Yeah. Well, you can cut to the whole what's your favorite food or Some favorite take animal. losses better than others, and, you know, some yeah. just take them poorly. Yeah, keep fishing. Keep fishing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first question. When is my birthday? When is your birthday? You're writing down what you think mine is. I'm writing down what I know yours is. Do we get hints or clues like phone of friends? Who are you going to call? Your wife. Dude. You don't have her number. <laughs> I do have her number. <laughs> no, you can't. Okay, then I can call Nicole. No. Okay, so there you go. All right, so we're writing down. I'm writing down his. He's writing down mine. I mean, dude, I had it at one point in my life. I knew this. And uh, I had an experience where I, I lost some memory. And so. <laughs> Did you fall off the boat Hold when on. you were fishing? Hold is on. that what happened? If this is right. No, I don't think this is right. What is your birthday in the teens? Dude, you want me to tell you? I could tell you, but this is supposed to be, um, you know. So are we counting it correct if we're within the month or within a month? I like this. He <laughs> wasn't here last time. Yeah. I like this judge. All right. So this is when I think Adam's birthday is right here. Boom. You see it. Read it and weep. I already know I'm right. August 25th. Oh. Let me see. Hey, I was close. I'm a super good friend for being that close, dude. All right, say yours. All right, my birthday is November 9th, 1989. And if he didn't put 1989, it's not correct. I win. Let me see. He did, I know he did. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So there we go. Point one. Dude, Do but I knew, I knew that. No, no. You don't get a point. You didn't get it right. Let's All right, what's the next here. thing that he could lie about? You still didn't know my birthday. I did. I was joking. <laughs> he 100% didn't because if he did, People, he's competitive. Hey. He would have wrote it. Oh, man. This one's going to be easy for both of us. Okay. Ready? One. So this one's easy. So I'm going to – you show yours and I'll tell you what mine is. Yeah, go ahead and tell us so you can't change it. All right. Well, go ahead and show. I'm not going to be able to see that. Look, I'll pull back. So my favorite is contemporary Christian music. 100%. And I just put – Contemporary. There you go. He put Kant. So he put continent. Has nothing to do with this question. <laughs> so therefore, eh. <laughs> All right. So here we go. I got his answer. This one's easy. You see it? Go ahead and tell him. Traditional hymns. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Now, now it's getting now it's getting dicey. What do you mean? Not... Yes. Traditional hymns. N name your top ten hymns. I can name top ten. Hymns I can right name now, a right? bunch. I mean, name your top 10 contemporary <laughs> Christian music. Anything. On the spot. Uh, Brandon Lake's last album. That's, that's, that's your top 10 contemporary 100%. Christian music. <sighs> Phil Wickham, Upper Room, Elevation Worship. So, I mean. No, there's just something about traditional <laughs> hymns that is pure gospel. See, it's very theological. Dude, he's, he's being. 
I win. I told you I okay. win. Dude, he's being very give deceiving us, Give right us both now. a point. Give us both a point. But I do like traditional hymns. All right. What is their favorite hobby or activities? Hold on. Should we think about it? I, th- I think I would know. What is their favorite hobby? So you can have a favorite hobby, but you don't do it a lot, just maybe because you have a wife and kids and a busy schedule and this, that, or the third. Okay. So it's not necessarily the hobby you do most. It's what's your favorite hobby or activity. I'm going to put – and it can't be like watching your kids play sports because I know that is one of your favorite things okay. to do. Okay. All right, so I'll go – you want me to go first or you? Hold on. Hold on. I got to think about favorite what my hobby. favorite hobby would be. Well, let's just say it at the same time. All right. One, two, three. I pickleball. mean, I would say playing sports. So, yeah, pickleball, baseball, um, anything, anything like that. Um, disc golf. So playing sports, I would say, is my favorite hobby. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I said pickleball. I thought, did he I, actually? I, I said pickleball. I said pickleball at the same time. Now you can guess for me. I was saying that for you. All right. And I'll be. I'll so here we go. Boom. You see it? Go ahead and tell him. Fishing. Oh. <laughs> we both got a point. Let's go. <laughs> You had to say that after all this junk you talked about. Because we knew time. we knew you weren't. We knew <laughs> we knew that you would never go fishing. So for I'm, a hobby. I'm three for three. Mm. Thank you, thank you. Keep them. How honest. many questions have we asked? You got my birth month right. There's only twelve. Three? Yeah. So I'm three for three. No, you got <laughs> <laughs> next one. What was a significant turning point in their faith journey? This was one that stuck out to me though. Post S2L. So it wouldn't be my wife or don't, don't shoot me about that. Right. Okay. Let's show at the same time. I'm writing for him. He's writing for me. Yeah. All right. So go ahead. I put for you. Yeah. Catapult with Brett. I felt like that was a a super, super strong one because it was a story that was significant in your recovery and healing and everything that came from that. Yeah. Uh, I would say school. Okay. For for me and for you actually. That's okay. what I wrote down for you. School would have been, I'll give that a point for sure. That was a significant turning point in my faith journey. And yeah, being able to accomplish Deep something Deep dive like into Old graduating, Testament, New Testament. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite exotic animal? Favorite like, exotic animal. Like, okay. Well, some people have them as pets. <laughs> so favorite, or what about just favorite animal? Because he's also going to say giraffe. <laughs> So he would have got it. That was it. <laughs> My favorite exotic animal. I think we're the, the audience is starting to see how much better of a friend than I am. Nah. His would be. Hold on, let me think about it. <laughs> see, he doesn't even know. That's okay, what, yeah, I do. If you I know, don't know I, immediately I know, what your favorite exotic animal is, I know what I would say probably. I already know what he would say because say. it's his picture over his shoulder he of his it. favorite picture as a right. lion. He's right. He's right. So there we go. Hey, we're starting to be honest with this now. Hey, man, can we talk about something? While we're on that, so this picture that I have, you can punch in maybe in post. I have that framed four by four in my house in my living room. It's been there for years. Mm-hmm. Katie came up to me recently, man, and she's like, "Hey, it's time." I go, "Time for what? Time for to get this picture out of our living room?" It's like, "What? That inspires me every day. I get, I get, I get fired up to see it." And she's wanting to replace it with like a family por- portrait or something. I'm like, huh? Dang. Like her grandfather made the f- custom frame for it. So, I mean, we might have a picture in the studio on the wall. You're going to have to retire it. I'll put it in my office. It's huge. I'll take it. It's huge. I have an empty No, wall. man. It means like I can't put it in my office. It's too big. Yeah. I don't already have a picture of like the world map or time, time frame of the world. Uh, old Bo. Old Bo Maxi got that for me. Ooh, shout nice out Bo Maxi, dude. Nice little gift. This is absurd. (laughs) Everyone knows it's him. The question is, and he's surprised. He goes, "Who likes lying the most?" No, come on. I mean, this this one's self-explanatory. Leave a comment and be honest. Yeah, you spell it A D A M C O M E R. Just if you want to know how to spell it, so just listen. Go ahead. If 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 you're answering and you've been watching these episodes, it's very easy. Very crystal clear. Very easy. Crystal clear. Very. This is the easiest question we've had yet. And Nicole and uh, your dad, 
Gordon, <laughs> y'all don't get the Come vote because no matter because y'all 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 two's votes will swing it. No, his dad and his wife <laughs> they dive into his nonsense. He drags them to these deep places of like manipulation of lying and so it doesn't matter what they, oh, their votes great. their votes are null this and void great. and they're going to create a burner account i'm sure <laughs> all right next babe you know how to do that burner <laughs> burner comment all yeah, this yeah <laughs> what is their favorite way to spend a weekend this is what i have for him boom i like relaxing at the pool with the <clears throat> um either whether it be a friend's pool or there's this app they need to sponsor the pod called Swimply, Swimly, and you can rent people's pools by the hour, like 30 bucks. And so, man, I love just – and doing it with friends too, but just with me, the kids, and Katie having a pool, man, cutting up, throwing a ball, making them jump in. That's my favorite. What would you put? <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing at that answer, dude? I'm, la I'm laughing at how much you were able to fit on that phone because <laughs> I could barely put the word pool in there. Um, for you – So that's a point. What? I said go into the pool. You said baseball and gymnastics. See what I mean? Hey, go back to the question before about lying. What did you send me pictures of this last weekend? Hold on a second. What did you say here? Actually, of Eli yet. here. Of Eli making a play that was good at shortstop. You're a baseball guy, and I wanted to brag so on my what son. What were you doing? You were watching baseball this weekend, enjoying yeah. it, watching your Wishing son. Wishing I was at the pool with him. No. <laughs> <laughs> see, I got him right there. <laughs> can you see it? You can read it. Mine's more simplistic more than it is, like, specific. It's just spending quality time with my wife. So, so regardless of what we're doing. So, like a date night. Date night, yeah. What did he put? <laughs> oh, my God. Who's your favorite Christian music artist? Favorite Christian music artist. I mean, I'll, I'll give you a few different ones because I, I wouldn't say, like, there's one I like above everybody else. So, if you get one of the few I'm thinking of. I'll give it to you. That's what I think for him. So if he put Brandon Lake, Upper Room, or Phil Wickham, I'll give it to him. There you go. All right. This is what I have for him. Casting crowns. I mean, Brandon Lake. There we go. We got it. But did you put Brandon Lake yeah. as well? Um, but, I mean, gosh. What That's was what it? I'm saying. It's what was it? it? <laughs> One of the most memorable moments of worship with my family was um, – during the pandemic with um, Carrie. Blessings by yes. Carrie Job, Yeah, yeah. Carrie Job, and then Elevation Worship. Like, I have a picture of that moment. Like, dude, it was awesome. All right, do they prefer an early morning service or a late service at church and why? I was going to say he likes Saturday night service. Is that true? Uh... Yeah, I'll give that to him. We've been going to the 4 p.m., so I guess that's Saturday e evening. night. Yeah. Um, we've which been going was, to the which 4 was, I know him so much. The question is like 9 a.m. or 10 a.m., and I know him so much, I know it's a, not even on Sunday. It's a Saturday evening. All right. This is what I have for him, though, even though it's rapid fire. I said for him was early morning church service and it, because it's tradition. That's how he's grown up, and he's always been to church on Sunday mornings, and that's... And you know? some of us, you know, we serve at our churches, yeah. and so you got to get there for mm -hmm. one service to worship, and then mm -hmm. you're serving. So uh, <laughs> I was right. That's what he said. <laughs> what is one okay. of their biggest pet peeves? Okay, what is one of the See, we have to write it. Are, it's, I mean, he was honest then. He was honest then. I've been, I've been doing all these honest. Hey, do you, you see his face? Did you see, his, did you see his face when he asked you that? What? That was legitimate concern. Our, our He's Carlos been putting literally liar and Carlos, different things on his, Car his whiteboard, dude. <laughs> Carlos literally looked at Chitty and goes, can you be honest from here on out, yeah. man? I'm going to say one that I know is right. I don't know if it's one that you're going to say. So for him, I I'll, guess. Do you want me to tell Well, I can't say what I was going to I think <laughs> one of the things that for Chitty that bugs him the most, I guess, is how I would describe it, is when people are fake. That may be an aspect of it. I would say failure to take accountability and responsibility in situations. Just like blame shifting, things like that. It's a huge pet peeve of mine yeah. that's deeply rooted. So someone who doesn't take accountability and responsibility for things that are going on is my biggest pet peeve. I mean, I would almost, I'm willing to give you a point here. If you just get one of my pet peeves right, I'll just say, yeah, that's one. Yeah, being but, an agent of truth. Yeah, that's one. What is their favorite movie? 
He played sports. <laughs> I played sports, man. That's a point. Like, <laughs> That's a point, bro. <laughs> Braveheart. Got it. Come, come on. That's, dude, that's a bonus point. So if Lynn was the character, oh, dude. Bro, we have to write it down. Oh, my gosh. The actual day or the month? Yeah. I'm more confident than he, he is. Dude, I know he, I'm going to be closer. Does, yeah, he's definitely going to be closer. With me? He didn't say with you. He said life oh, after addiction, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I misinterpreted that. Um, if we were, in fact, tied going into that last question, I will give him. I will bow to um, his win. Um, I, I haven't checked the scorecard myself, so this is like boxing the until the scorecards are turned in. The better and friend. And they're, they're uh, valid. The one who cares for the other more. <laughs> the the one who lies less. Right. We're probably way, way <laughs> deep in this one. He's going to have to cut this one up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you see you see, uh, he's wanting us to wrap up. We've had a good time. We needed this. We Just did. A little this loud. was a good one. I enjoyed it. It's always fun to do this. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. We banter. We go back and forth. But this is literally just how a relationship is. Yeah truth and love and <laughs> lies and hate so hey that's life after addiction you better believe it come on thank you for listening to this episode of life after addiction life after addiction is a production of s2l studio for more christ-centered addiction recovery resources please visit s2l.net that's s the number two l.net For more information about S2L's licensed and accredited residential program, please visit s2lrecovery.org. That's S, the number two, lrecovery.org.